which of these is an example of an element? Elements are found on the periodic table. Sugar is not found. Soil is not found on the periodic. Water is H2O. A lot of students pick that one accidentally, but since it has two elements, that's not the correct. D, oxygen is correct. Which of these is an example of a heterogeneous mixture? You can see clear differences. Salt is NaCl, so that's a compound. Nitrogen is N2. Mud would be all kinds of different materials, water, um, soil, gravel. Air is a mix of hydrogen, water vapor, oxygen, nitrogen, methane. So a lot of different compounds physically combined. It looks the same throughout. So this is a mixture. Mud's a mixture. On mud, you can see the differences. Prefix hetero. Every pure chemical compound consists of two or more elements that are chemically combined is correct. <clears throat> they cannot be separated by physical changes. They need to be separated by chemical changes. Cannot be separated. Well, they can be chemically combined in any proportion. That's incorrect. Compounds always have a definite proportion. For example, H2O is always two copies of hydrogen, one copy of oxygen. That's the only way we can have water. Which of the following is most likely to be a homo homogeneous mixture? Um, C only has one type of dot, so that can't be a mixture at all. This only has one type of particle, which means A hopefully has multiple kinds of particles, and they seem to be pretty spread evenly, so that would be A, homogeneous, and it's the only one that's a mixture. Which pair don't belong together? Solution, homogeneous mixture. These can, because another name for homogeneous mixture is solution. Alloy and solution, they can go together because these are the same solution of metal, solution. Homogeneous mixture and then alloy, those can go together because a solution of metals is a homogeneous mixture and since an alloy is a solution. Finally, heterogeneous mixture and solution. Choice is D. These do not mean the same thing. <clears throat> classifying matter. Um, so the easiest way to do this is to do one of these words um, and then go all the way through and choose all the ones that are elements. So magnesium is an element because it only has one symbol. You could find it on the periodic table. CO2 not an element. Salt water not an element. Air not an element. Iron one symbol. That's an element. H2O has two symbols, oil and water, cement, silver has only one symbol, ethyl alcohol has a string of symbols, barium has only one symbol, calcium chloride has multiple symbols. So then compounds are substances that can be represented by a formula with different atoms involved. So there's two different atoms that makes this a compound. So water, air, H2O, two different Oil and water, no. Cement, ethyl alcohol, one, two, three different symbols in ethyl alcohol's formula. Let's see with calcium chloride. Which means the rest of these should be mixtures. Salt and water, there's two different substances there, so that's a mixture. Air, as we said earlier, has a bunch of gases um, CO2, O2, N2. Oil and water, we have oil, and we have water, that's a mixture. Cement has a bunch of different chemicals inside of it. Then homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous means looks the same throughout. All elements and compounds are homogeneous substances, so they have to be choice D. This is A, or B has to be choice D. C's can be either homogeneous or heterogeneous, so it will look the same throughout, or can you see clear differences? Salt water should look the same throughout. Air should look the same throughout. Oil and water, you'll have an oil layer, and uh, an oil layer and a water layer. So that was going to be clear differences, so that should actually be E. Excited with these. And cement will look the same throughout 
if it's true or so. Provide two examples of each type of matter. So anything off your periodic table can be an element. So hydrogen, which comes with H2, helium, O2, magnesium. There's a couple examples. Compounds, anything that has two different symbols put together. So NaCl is a great one. Carbon dioxide is a great one. Potassium nitrate. Um, C6H12. O6 glucose for biology class. <clears throat> Homogeneous mixtures are going to have two different substances. They're going to look the same throughout. Physically combined. Air is a great example. Uh, Kool Aid. Salt water. Sugar water. These are all good examples. Finally, heterogeneous mixture, we can see differences. So if we were to say like Kool-Aid with ice, that'd be a good example. A chocolate chip cookie. Not salt today. Um, dirt is a good one. Have probably some sand, you have some soil particulate, gravel, maybe some worms, so on and so forth. We classify these using these letters up here. So elements should only have one type of circle in the box, so that's what we're going to look for first. This has multiple types of circles, multiple types, multiple types. Has multiple types, you know, the doubles and the singles. This only has doubles, so this has to be an element. This only has the dark ones, this has to be an element. Multiple types, multiple types, multiple types. Uh, up at the top, choice B, a compound, can only have one type of um, particle in that picture. So let's take a look. See two different types of particles, two different types. Two different types, multiple types. Let's see about this one. All of these, and number three, have a dark with two opens. So this has to be a compound. Multiple types, multiple types. <laughs> Choice C, a mixture of elements. So it has to be just elements. These are compounds, two different colors of circles attached. We have, for number four, we have opens and closed. That's all we have. So this is one type of element. This is the second type of element. This is choice C, mixture of elements. This is an element, but these are compounds because they have two different types connected to each other. Here we have elements because they're the same connected to each other. And we have another set of elements, the darks, which makes this choice C. Six has compounds, so that can't be choice C. Nine has compounds, so it can't be choice C. D, mixture of compounds. Well, here's a compound, and these are compounds. So, number one should be D. Here we have compounds, but then we have elements. Because these are the same, so that can't be D. Here we have a compound. Then we also have elements, that can't be D. Lastly, these are compounds, dog bone looking ones, and then these are compounds, and these are compounds. So there's three compounds and nine, that's D. Letter E will be mixtures of elements and compounds, so the last two should be E. Here's my elements, here are my compounds. Here are my elements. And compounds. A mixture is a chemical combining of substances. That's false. A mixture is a physical. A mixture is always made up of a combination of elements. Or it always would make us think 
cautiously about that statement. That's false because we could have two compounds. In a mixture, the substances retain their own properties. That's true. At least some of their own properties. If you put sugar in water, the sugar still has the sweetness that you can taste in sugar water. An element can't be broken down into simpler substances. That's true. At least not with the same identity. Answer each question using complete sentences. Classify the pictures, a substance, or a mixture. This is a substance because there's only one item there. How do we know that? The picture only shows one particle type. indicating the substance. This one we have two different types of particles. We have the shaded double circles and we have the unshaded double circles, which will be easier to see on your own worksheet. Let's zoom in. Shaded, unshaded. So this has to be a mixture. <laughs> the picture shows a mixture because there's two different particle types. These are physically combined. Last question, using shaded and non-shaded circles, draw a diagram of gaseous CO2 and rectangle below. So CO2 is going to have to have one type of circle, so maybe it's the shaded one, and the O's are going to be unshaded. So CO2 might look something like this. Since it's gaseous, they should be kind of far apart. Now, even if you don't know for sure which one should be dark, which one should be, you should be able to tell me that there are two different types of atoms here. There's the shaded and the unshaded. And since the CO2 has two copies of one, one of these has to be two copies, always the same, unshaded or always two shaded. Gaseous means spread apart because those particles aren't very close to each other.